अभी तेरह तारीख से बीस तारीख तक जो दिल्ली में प्रदूषण को कम करने के लिए व्हीकल प्रदूषण को रिड्यूस करने के लिए और इवन का निर्णय लिया है सरकार ने In a bid to address the escalating air quality emergency in the national capital the Delhi government has announced the revival of the odd even road scheme this scheme will be in effect for a week from November 13 to November 20 commencing right after the Diwali festival According to data from the Central Pollution Control Board CPCB Delhi's average air quality index reading on November 6 reached an alarming 421 But first what is the odd even scheme During the enforcement of the odd even rule vehicles can operate only on alternate days determined by the registration number cars with odd numbered plates will be allowed on the streets on odd dates november 13 15 17 and 19 while even numbered plates can play on even dates november 14 16 18 and 20 This strategy aims to reduce the number of vehicles on the road by approximately 50% with hopes of alleviating AQI levels. The scheme was first trialed in 2016 and subsequently in 2019 several categories of vehicles are exempt from the restrictions such as CNG run taxis, cars driven by women for safety reasons, electric and hybrid vehicles and all two wheelers. Detailed information regarding the new scheme is yet to be disclosed. The Delhi Transport Department estimates that there are approximately 7.5 million active Delhi registered vehicles a third of which are cars. Therefore the odd even plan would entail around 1.25 million cars being off the roads each day not accounting for electric and hybrid vehicles. To what extent are vehicular emissions responsible for Delhi's bad air? The deteriorating air quality in Delhi is attributed to various factors. Delhi's geographical location in a shallow atmospheric bowl makes it susceptible to pollution trapping. When coupled with decreasing temperatures and sluggish wind speeds, pollutants remain suspended in the air, contributing to the infamous smog. Furthermore, the practice of burning stubble in Punjab and Haryana, often performed by farmers preparing their fields for the rabbi crop, adds to the issue. However, farm fires only burn for a limited time each year, making their annual contribution to Delhi's air pollution roughly 3% or less. Multiple studies suggest that local sources, particularly vehicles, are responsible for up to 30% of the city's annual PM 2.5 concentration. These vehicles also emit other pollutants such as NO2 with levels increasing by up to 60% compared to the previous year. So does the odd even scheme make sense given the inevitable hardships it will cause? Well the odd even scheme has been implemented in various forms in cities worldwide its effectiveness remains a subject of debate. In 2019 the Indian Express conducted an analysis comparing AQI levels in Delhi to those in neighboring areas like Gurgaon, Ghaziabad and Noida where the odd even scheme was not enforced. The results indicated that the average AQI decreased most significantly in Delhi where the scheme was in effect. However, despite this data, experts say determining the exact impact of an individual measure on air pollution is difficult. <laughs>